your sign of cancer. My name is Kim, and I'll do the reading for your next 24 hours. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, watching all of the support I can get. I appreciate all of you so very much. So we're going to call in the divine white light to surround us as we do this reading, surround you as you watch the reading, calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. This is the archetype deck, Cancer, and we start off with the underworld. This is the underbelly, the seedy things that can happen. It's also where the gems are found in the underworld. This, um, this is just having to look at these things that are dark and foreboding, but having to look at them so that we change them. So we can change them. This might be about your surroundings and the environment, maybe the state of something. Let's look at the energy card. Energy card for Cancer. All right, we got two. We got door to value and attachment. Hmm. Do you have a negative attachment to money? If it is, it's a money block. It's stopping you from getting everything that you really deserve, that you truly deserve. Um, and it, it, or it may be, it may be attachment to some of these older ways of dealing with greed and things like that. But I think if you're wanting to see value come through your life, you have to look at what you're attached to. What are you attached to? What is there something, um, something that's blocking you? Okay, I'm going to pull some more cards. Let's get the spell casting deck and see if we can't get more information. Because I'm not sure if they relate together or not right yet. I have for cancer. Two. Two again. Protection. And lighten your load. Maybe you're taking on, on too much with this door to value and then protection. All right, let me read you what it says in the book for these. So protection is uh, place your trust in the divine. You need to ground yourself, surround yourself with positive energy of others by imagining a circle of white light. So just kind of like watch out for the shadows, but know that you're divinely protected. Lighten your load. Lighten your load is you're taking something too seriously. Worry is making you ill, so relax. Reshuffle your priorities and schedule and see the funny side. All right, now we'll get a guardian angel card and we'll see where that takes us. Then we'll clarify these with the tarot so that we can find out a little bit more information on them. Right away, we have Angel of Imagination. So this is about um, letting your creativity, um, your creativity, letting it free. So letting it go and letting it free. Maybe creating a vision board. Um, maybe you're having a hard time thinking of how to start something. Your angels can assist you and they want to assist you. That's why they show up like this. All right, so we're gonna get some cards from the tarot now. We're going to find out what was the underworld there for. These shadows. Why is the underworld here? For cancer, why is the underworld here? Hmm. Something in a partnership. Possibly a Gemini. Something going on with a, a partnership. The lover's card. Maybe, it, maybe it's also about a deal. Like a business deal. So, something that went something that went wrong something that went wrong that was supposed to go right if that makes any sense let's get a card from door to value Woo! all right not taking any bs from anybody with the queen of swords walking away from something that was going to be a disaster that did not serve you it was going to be this it's going to be the under underbelly the underground or so it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you're definitely walking away from a situation or like a, an ideology in your head, a mindset, and you're going to go get what you want. You're going to cut off what you need to to get it, put your eyes on the target, and you always get your target. And you always get your information. So attachment. Why is attachment here for cancer? <laughs> Attachment. 
Well, this would be a good attachment, okay? You might be attached to this idea that you're gonna travel and the travel that you take is gonna be victorious. So this is a journey. This is a journey for you and this is you, yourself, being authentically you. There's something that you need, maybe you need attachment to who you really are. Maybe it's something like that. Let me get another card for attachment. <laughs> Page of Wands. Yeah, so it could be a child, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But this is really good news, guys. This is good news. So there's something that's coming to you. Something that's coming to you. And it's good news. It's going to be really inspiring. And it's going to trigger this. This um, good news is going to inspire you and keep you on your track. And keep you going forward. Progressing forward. We may have some forgiveness on the bottom. I saw judgment. So lighten your load. Why is that here? I just lighten your load here. Justice. Lighten your load because there will be justice. Justice will be had. You are protected, divinely directed. If this is a court case, it will turn out in your favor. Um, the justice card is here to remind you that everything's going to turn out just fine. At the end, the end of the day, everything is going to be all balanced out. So if you're feeling heavily burdened and stuff like that with the lighten your load card, know that that will soon be rectified. All right, so a card for imagination, too. Card for imagination. <laughs> All right, this may be part of your um, attachment, the Sagittarius. This may be about divine timing, and this may be about asking for the spirit, the divine, to help you with what you're doing. Um, definitely about divine timing, and there's this somehow a celebration wrapped up into this too. Some vision that will come true. It's all about a vision. Started off with a vision, an inspiration. Something maybe that you thought was impossible that became possible. And you're very inspired, and you're on your way to success. All right, let's get these Ooh. all right these aren't gonna be for everybody but you take what resonates you leave the rest okay so we have man dealings or relationship with a man ladder climbing towards success so I told you with that um, can with the cancer card so your card the chariot hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally taking a vacation physically or mentally I think that's somewhere over here June, the month of June for somebody. Broom, new home, new attitude. Could be buying a home, getting a home, moving out of a home, moving into a home. Tulip, great passion, great passion. Maybe the lovers there. Maybe the lovers. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me. I'm sending much love and light out to you. Um, I'll join join me for the next time. Bye.